I wish that it was easy to have a clear definition of artificial intelligence, but unfortunately we don't have a very clear definition of intelligence, let alone what artificial intelligence might actually be. My first machine that I actually had was a Commodore 64. Um, and I guess a lot of people in my generation, their first bit of programming would have been uh, a Commodore Basic. You know, went around to other people's places and played on an Atari 2600 and stuff like that before then, but basically the Commodore 64 was my first love. Well, first of all, AI was just something that everyone doing computer science was super excited about doing at university. And then I learned that there was this area of computational linguistics where people were looking at language and the structure of language. Um, all of those bits kind of came together and now I've got a job where I can think about hard computer science problems that are used to manipulate and process language. Uh, not a lot of people in my uh, family had been to university at that point. My dad left school very early, um, but both of my parents valued education a lot. So in many ways I was doing things that um, they'd never really had access to. And we didn't really talk about that kind of stuff very much at home. It was just something I was always interested in and just spent a lot of time buried in books. So I've always been interested in making things uh, and building things and designing things and so on. And one of the amazing things about computer programming as opposed to everything else is once you've got a computer, you don't need any other resources to build anything that your brain can think of. <laughs> Hello.